but now we are informed of this impromptu meeting it's starting in five minutes so that means i'll have to first attend the meeting though i know it's going to be a short one and then afterwards i film this video i just pray and you want to have woken up yet it's 11 or 9 she's still sleeping i prefer to shoot in silence because it's a sit down i don't want to tell her oh turn off the tv i don't know and this is my best shooting place for a sit down if it's not for a sit down i'll just go to the bedroom let's start this meeting because i'm starting to get anxious now and I'm starting to get hungry because I wanted to first shoot and then prepare breakfast. Because today I didn't feel like doing bread and tea. I've been doing bread and tea for a long time. So today I wanted to cook something elaborate and that requires time. But my priority is shooting. We finished the meeting, Taraji woke up, but I'm filming a video, I gave her money, told her to go to the shops and buy something that she wanted to eat, that would keep, you know, hold her stomach, because if I take a break, and the kind of breakfast that I want to prepare is something that is going to take time. If I take a break to prepare breakfast, by the time I come back, uh -uh, I will not be able to shoot. I won't even my makeup already have moved. So, yeah, my child is old enough to go to the shops by herself. So she went and bought some things, then snacks, and then I was like, oh, Mom, I want to film. Can you like stay in the bedroom for some time? She's watching from the laptop. She was like, it's okay. So she's there watching as I'm here filming. I didn't need to make my bedroom into a place where I can film. I don't have anywhere I can sit and film. <sighs> and one day if God blesses me, I'll just have like a filming room where I get in and film so that she's able to just continue with her life and watching a TV and stuff when she's home. Because normally when she's at school during weekdays, it's easier. So I want to film this video. This video is actually about this video is about how to reinvent yourself in 2024 if you want to be a better version of yourself if you want to be a different person from who you've been you have the right to do that so i'm just going to take you through how you can do that i have my notes here and there here so i know it will take a shorter time because i already know what i want to say so it's just like oh continuous oh, i remind myself and then i explain so if that is something you're into i'm into self-development i've said here a lot into improving yourself then you can watch out for that video i don't know if it will come before or after this so see you later guys i got a feeling <coughs> in this video we're going to talk about how to reinvent yourself in 2024 and we're starting now there have been people who have been trying me in my life online and offline <laughs> And sometimes I just feel like I want to get into like, like a verbal argument with someone. Then I remind myself, the woman that I Linda want to be, the woman of my dreams, she doesn't engage in verbal exchanges with people online. The woman that I want to be, I become that woman today. And I tell myself, the woman that I am, I want to be, she's always put together. She's always put together together you can either have your excuses or you can have your dream life you can either have that healthy body that you want or you can have your excuses choose you ladies and gentlemen and that's a wrap ah, i'm so proud of myself i'm so glad i did not be postponed this because ah. so i want to prepare breakfast let's get into the kitchen i want to prepare these i'm going to peel them and then boil them for a few minutes and then shallow fry them with onion and a few spices here and there. And then I'm also going to prepare this uh, spinach just with the onion only. And that's it with salt. And that's what we're going to have for breakfast. And then I'll do tomatoes on the side.
to my body so same to fry these i've already boiled it but i've realized that <laughs> it's not okay it's a mistake but maybe not a mistake I usually boil it with all the ingredients salt garlic and then the two most ingredients rosemary and cumin but now i've realized that i've run out of rosemary and cumin so i'm just going to use mixed, mixed spices i usually use turmeric just for color so mixed spices and then also use curry powder i'm going to use curry powder turmeric mixed spices because that's what i will have but rosemary cumin and garlic are the most important ingredients here then curry powder the method of boiling all of them with the spices is something that I'm sure of and I'm sure it will come out good because I've used it a number of times. So if you're cooking it, I prefer you use that. But since I forgot to do that, I'm just going to fry the shallow fry them with the spices. It's only that when you shallow fry garlic, it normally turns black. The oil turns black, which is what I was avoiding. But it's okay. So I'm going to fry the potatoes here and I'm going to cook the spinach here. For the spinach, it's just oil, onions and spinach, nothing much. So yes, I didn't use the method that I'm used to, but they still came out. They are so tasty. Taraji has said they are so amazing. Food is all about just experimenting, okay? I think I prepared less spinach because it shrank, but that's okay. With this, I just wanted something healthy and tasty, healthy and tasty. And then this one has a lot of spices. These ones do not have spices. But if you're preparing it, you can try the first method that I told you because now this won't happen. The oil is normally clean because you boiled with the spices. So when you're putting it here, there's nothing. And I normally don't use onions when I'm using that method, but it's still tasty. This is what we ate last night, pilau. These are leftovers. We're supposed to eat these for lunch. It is 1 p.m. right now. I think I'll just say this is lunch or breakfast come lunch. So I think that one will eat supper because we still have to going to have evening tea. So there's no way we are having this at 1. Then we eat at 2 or 3. Then we have evening tea and supper. That's a bit much. So, yeah. I thought he was a bee. What a shame. 
Hey guys, this is a bit later, so wow, I've realized I don't shoot in my bedroom a lot. <laughs> so I've been training this child to do two things at least per day. One is to after make after taking breakfast, of course she wakes up, brushes her teeth, blah blah blah. After taking breakfast, I tell her to do one chore, which most of the time is washing dishes, because which other chore is she going to do? And then to get to make herself clean. At this point, she bathes herself. I've gone through the whole thing. I've taught her how to bathe herself. I've been there. I've watched her as she does it. Right now, I know she knows how to bathe herself properly. And also, I've taught her how to operate the hot shower or whatever. So if I just tell her, you go and bathe. She comes. She picks the clothes that she wants to wear. And I purposely want her to pick her clothes every day. Unless maybe we're going somewhere and there's a particular way that you know, want her to dress. But normally... I want her to pick her clothes. I want to see how she matches clothes. She's beginning to have her own sense of style and fashion. I just want to teach her how to know how to dress up. So right now she knows maybe when it's cold, she puts on a top inside before the dress or whatever. Those kinds of things she knows which dresses to put on the stocking, sometimes like that. So she will come, she will pick her clothes, she will go into the shower, bathe, come back, dress, apply oil. Me, what I do is maybe I just clear the bathroom because you know it's the bathroom and toilet at the same time so sometimes when someone is done uh, bathing there's water on the toilet seat and all, that is the, the only thing that i do so i want to go and tell her of course she doesn't <laughs> of course she doesn't want to do that she wants to watch but it's something that i've been training her because i see there are women who are just used to that they wake up and they bathe before anything else me i'm not like that i have to do chores first and it doesn't come naturally to me like just wake up and hop in the shower because i don't know i was not dressed like that so i'm trying to raise her like that so that it can be easier for her so that she can just grow up knowing that you're taking care of ourselves we are ladies so sometimes she asks me that but you're not going anywhere why do you have to shower now you can shower in the evening i'm like even if you're not going anywhere we have to shower and then also dress nice because we are ladies i don't know so let me go tell her so that she can be mom i want to go yeah but she has to do those two things as i start to edit this video because it's the video you're watching tomorrow crazy right but now i'll edit from morning up to here and then when i film the evening and also edit that part so let's go tara is here washing dishes can you repeat what you just said to me even i can't dress <laughs> but i told her to wash dishes you just said even i can't dress that's all you've been doing since schools were no, <laughs> it's you when i was at school you were just doing this no, no, I was working. Yes, you are resting. Oh, no. <laughs> I can just cracked me up, but I can't even rest. In this house. <laughs> it's my house. It's our house. It's mine. <laughs> That's how people take over your house. Just like that. <laughs> I can't even rest. <laughs> because you're washing dishes only. <laughs> no. Tell you what have you done apart from washing dishes since morning? I have done. Eh? <laughs> you see? There's nothing. This is the first chore you are doing. So, Taraji, have you cleaned the floor? Stop lying. <laughs> yeah, I have finished. Let me go do some things there. <laughs> You've killed me that statement. <laughs> Guys, it's 7 p.m. So. I have a workshop that I'm attending. I had forgotten about it. There is this workshop I was invited last month actually. So I was so excited. I was like, ah. and then I forgot about it because nothing was happening. And then with all that was happening with the junior, whatever, it really just took my mind. I didn't know how to, because it was my first campaign. I really didn't know how to juggle that and other things or other whatever. So, so I keep forgetting about it. And then I remember I'm like, oh, and then I forget about it. <laughs> so there was a launch that happened actually before I traveled to Nanuki the night before. So it was launched officially and then nothing. It was just quiet. So I forgot about it again until today. So the first workshop starts today. 
it was in my calendar actually i just looked at my google calendar at 4 30 pm that's when i saw it that it was scheduled for seven thank god we have food because there's no way that i'll be able to now cook in time but i'm in a workshop it's a learning thing like class not learning like oh let me just listen and see where i can pick here and there i'm yeah i'm supposed to be learning i'm in class so and the, the last thing that we had it that lunch it took two hours and then we had another one hour where we were just interacting as you know the people who are there so i know that from 7 p.m kenyan time this thing is going to go on until 9 or 10 p.m yeah so it's a long time so this evening is just going to go differently because I thought we would eat, I should show you us eating and then I'd go and do my skincare, remove makeup, do my skincare but now this is priority number one. So guys, first of all I wanted to thank you for how you guys supported me during this Jumia Black Friday. Thank you so so much, your comments, the people who purchased through me and the people who follow me on Instagram actually because I did it more on Instagram than YouTube. I thank you all so so much. So let me get this you want to come and say hi? Yes. Ah, you're not being seen. <laughs> sit here, sit here. So Tarad is also here. She's just going to be chilling there, watching her cartoon. So at some point, I'm just going to take a break, warm the food she'll eat there and eat here as I attend to this. And then, yeah, after this, maybe I'll just remove my makeup and watch Live Kenya. You remember Live Kenya, that girl that I told you was doing the Lake Victoria circuit. She was going around to Lake Victoria. She is now in South Africa. They're traveling to South Africa by road. They've passed Tanzania. They're going to Zambia. They're going to pass Namibia, Botswana before they get to South Africa. So that's the last thing I'm going to watch before I sleep. You want to say, tell our people bye-bye? Bye-bye, guys. Thank you for being a little bit So, bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah. And see you in our next video. Bye bye. I like that. Bye bye, your bye bye.